Hey everybody, welcome back to the workbench where we do work on the bench. Today we're going to take a look at fan centers and in particular this fan center here. It's equipped with a single pole double throw relay. Uh, we'll take a look at this one in a later video. But I wanted to show you that a fan center is made up of a transformer and a relay in a nice little package. It's nothing more complex than that. So we're going to dive in and have a look at some of the features of what a fan center is. We can see that the secondary on this transformer is a little more complex. We've got five screws down here. These top two are R and C. This is where the 24 volts uh, comes from. And these terminals down here are what we call dummy terminals or junction points. This is where wires meet up and go to other places in the furnace, air handler, boiler, air conditioner, wherever we find this thing. We typically find it in a furnace and it's used to switch from one speed on the blower to another speed on the blower. This bracket here holds this relay in place in case it wants to pop out when it switches because this is a plug-in style relay and I'll unplug it and show it to you. So it's a standard plug-in style relay. We've got a nice little Molex here plastic harness for the... If we look here on C and on G these wires are soldered in place. They come like this from the factory and they're sent around back here to the coil of the relay. And then we've got a black wire going into what would be number one on this relay and a brown wire to what would be number two and then a red wire here on what would be number three. So again, these two wires are connected to G and C. When we look at some other models in a future video, we'll see that there's more wires that come in place from the manufacturer and we'll discuss their functions. So we're going to plug this in and we got a little scenario set up as it would be in a furnace. We're going to use it to switch from low speed or light A to high speed, light B. I'm going to put this bracket back in place, keep the relay from popping out. And these little screws on the secondary terminal are ideal for wiring your thermostat wire like that, keeping everything nice and neat and having one place to make all your checks make all your connections so I'm going to and this is again a single pole double throw relay there's the schematic for it and I'm going to wire it in remember one and two are normally close so as soon as we power this up we're gonna see light A or low speed come on and then when we energize the coil we're going to see light B or high speed come on to energize the coil, it needs 24 volts from the thermostat. All right, so we're wired up. I've got the thermostat wire connected. I've got my thermostat wire here. And I'm going to power us up and we'll see low speed on. And then I'm going to use my thermostat. In this case, I got a jumper set up here. Clip it to R. And when the thermostat energizes the fan circuit, it connects R to G. So we got red to green. One to three are now closed, one and two are open. When we open it, one and two close, turning on low speed. When we close this circuit, energize the coil of the relay, high speed is on. So again, a fan center is nothing more than a transformer and a relay with some extra terminals here for making connections and various relays that are plugged in. There's many different models. In a future video, we'll take a look at another model. Uh, this has been the Workbench series. I'd like to thank you for tuning in, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks.